Ah. We are really extremely fortunate to have with us today as our chief guest for the day, a very dynamic leader and honorable member of parliament Lok Sabha, Srimati Supriya Ji Sure. Thank you, ma'am, for taking out precious time from your busy schedule and gracing our occasion. And we thank you from the bottom of our heart and welcome you to the event today. So to open the event, we would like to begin with the invocation prayer song by Ms. Anjali Hoskote Parisarasha. And on the keyboard is Ms. Chaya Mukherjee. So can we have the song, please? Anjali. So with that beautiful invocation song, we are now set to open our event. And for the opening note, I would like to call upon the CEO of Parisarasha, Ms. Aarti Savur, who is a passionate educationist with a rich experience of almost 26 years in the field. So Aarti will be enlightening us about the entire program of the Par Positive Parenting and Child Helpline, which has today, you know, transformed into the digital application. So over to you, Aarti, for the opening note. Yeah, so thank you, Satna. And a very good evening to all of you and happy Navratri to all of you. And warm welcome to all the dignitaries, Honorable Chief Guest Supriyatai Sule, Senior Officials from Capgemini, our Guest of Honours, Mr. Sanjay Chalke, Mr. Ashish Milocha and Mr. Anurag Tata. My team, Parisar Asha, team Capgemini, uh, trustees, and the audience uh, watching us live on Facebook. So first of all, let me thank Supriya Tai. Supriya Tai, thank you so much for you. You know, like I know you are so busy because I follow you on Facebook and uh, Instagram. And uh, looking at your post, I feel breathless. And I don't know how you have so much of stamina to, you know, conduct so many meetings back to back and... So many, it's really amazing to, you know, have a dynamic leader like you. So thank you so much. And uh, thank you for appreciating Parisarasha's work. And uh, we are really hopeful and looking forward for your continued support, uh, you know, a collaboration with you, with Yashwant Rao Savan Pratishthan and also with Maharashtra government so that we can take up this initiative on a different scale altogether. So it's indeed a great and you know proud moment for all of us uh, because it was a small thought which has taken a big big leap and a big giant uh, you know uh, uh, thing uh, today because of of course great support of Capgemini and it all started five years ago uh, as you all are aware that Parisarasha is Mumbai based not for profit organization working in the field of education since 1982. Government says right to education, we believe right to right education. So we work for improving quality of educational standards in our, you know, lower income group schools, basically, because uh, people who can afford, they can put their children into those high profile schools. But then what about our 80% of Amjanta? So we have been working with so many schools, uh, Pan India. 
and we realize and as parisar asha parisar is uh, environment and asha is hope so we work with environment not just your physical surrounding but also your social emotional academic home environment so because our environment plays very very important role in our lives today the kind of person we are is because the kind of environment we have received but we realize that when we are working with schools but that child is there in that school only for 5 to 6 hours maximum so maximum impact is happening only you know like because of that uh, home environment so how to reach out to parents because our children today it's not like our generation because we had a very different childhood and today's children are exposed to so much of negativity they they are really facing so many challenges there is so much of competition there is peer pressure there is you know a lot more things are happening in the child's life and today because of nuclear families even parents or grandparents are not there to take care of their uh, our children so that's how we started with just one mobile phone and we started with this positive parenting and child helpline and in the year one only we could uh, you know help out almost 500 families and then uh, it was i think uh, they say na that uh, universe conspires when your intentions are good and that's how the universe conspired and capgemini entered in parisarasha's life and now this entire thing has become a very very big initiative so thank you capgemini from the bottom of our heart because of capgemini's support we could started this toll free helpline and now we are having you know all these professionals license holder in medical uh, this mental health professionals uh, so we have counselors psychologists psychiatrists doctors on board so we start in fact in four years we have touched four uh, lakh families and i won't say four lakh families we have transformed their lives but i can say we have earned you know it's a Uh, you can say uh, four lakh blessings in the joint account of Parisarasha and Cap Gemini. So from there, uh, yeah, we also started doing this uh, positive parenting and child uh, helpline under which uh, this another initiative what we had taken is we started conducting free parenting sessions because to educate parent is a need of the hour. So my team, uh, our counselors and our psychologists, they used to travel to different parts of Mumbai, outskirts of Mumbai, and actually going to these, you know, even slum areas where we were conducting these free parenting sessions. So and now, uh, what we realize that we could create that awareness about mental health because still in our society, mental health is a social taboo. and even that is happening all across i mean every section of the society still mental health is a social taboo be it you know like if it's a high profile family or it is very very lower income group family and then came the pandemic so during pandemic parisar asha as helpline and with the capgemini support we could help it because we realized that now this pandemic this mental health has also become another pandemic issue so that's how we realize ki now we cannot just restrict to parent and child now it has to go beyond the age the caste community and the geographical so that's how you know we started uh, uh, i mean taking cases from all different age groups and we really used to get uh, during that first uh, wave and uh, first lockdown uh, we were getting uh, daily 200 plus calls on our helpline so we had tied up with uh, local ngos and we started you know supplying with oxygen beds then even food and medical help uh, what we could do so uh, that's how and now uh, we realize uh, you know uh, now we really have to take another step another leap and now this is you know today this is another uh, milestone in parisar asha and capgemini's uh, joint venture that we are uh, launching this digital application in the gracious presence you know uh, of all the dignitaries and supriya tai so uh, we are really glad and uh, thank you capgemini once again uh, you know I, i think it's a way to go now it's another uh, uh, turning point in our lives that we already had this uh, helpline and helping so many and now with this digital app of course i'm saying this is a first version of digital app we are going to add on to different different features and uh, so that it becomes a complete holistic uh, app for any user and they can take care of their health their mental health their family's mental health because finally mental health matters we have to make mental health a top priority in our lives and supriya tai tumcha aashirwad amcha pathishi asas asude and we are looking forward for having a big collaboration with maharashtra government and with yashwantral savan pratishthan also so this is just a beginning as i'm saying that with this launch 
we can it can open up you know uh, our doors uh, so we can reach out to many more people in rural areas of maharashtra and even in india so uh, we hope to spread happiness joy in the families because uh, you know they say charity begins at home so if your families are not happy and not satisfied how can we see a happy nation so thank you so much and thank you all of you and uh, supriya tai especially and cap gemini you have been so supportive and this is like our extended family cap gemini so it's a joint venture so thank you so much and uh, yeah it's a it's really uh, you can say uh, you know a very emotional uh, point in our lives uh, especially in parisar ashas i i'm sure all my uh, uh, entire team is really overwhelmed today so thank you so much yes so thank you arti for the wonderful insight about the you know you spoke about a thought which began a small thought but with the support of cap gemini we have reached a certain milestone today right so that was all about the growth of the positive parenting and digital uh, and the helpline so now we would like to see a film which showcases the journey of this program so the journey of the positive parenting and child uh, program so could we have the film please Do you recognize that laughter? Have you seen that face? It's the mental health monster that plagues our brains. The mother thinks she never studies and just sits around all day. The father thinks she's but the means, throwing tantrums unnecessarily because they don't know that she's behaving this way because of the mental health monster that is ruining her life. She's not alone. There are more kids, youths and adults all over the world going through the same thing. We found that one in every 3 children struggle at home with such issues. If children are our future, then this future seems very dark. But in darkness, you'll always find hope. It's Parisar Asha. In 2015, we started the Positive Parenting Helpline to help save the lives of such kids by guiding their parents. Any parent in need of help could give a missed call and send an SMS on the helpline, and our team of experts would call them back to provide the solutions and guidance they need. In the first year, Parisar Asha saved more than 500 people, and in 2017, with the help of Cap Gemini. Our one superhero became many. We launched the first toll-free positive parenting and child helpline where a team of professional psychologists and psychiatrists provide free and confidential counseling services to kids and their parents. We also conducted free on-ground workshops to create awareness on topics like parenting, stress management and mental health issues. and expanded to in-house counseling at our center for more serious concerns our superhero was saving lives all over the world we were on our way to change the world when a stronger enemy came that turned the whole world upside down covid and together with the mental health monster it thought of a plan to destroy the planet and everybody on it but if the enemy gets bigger our defense needs to get even stronger in the fight against covid we partnered with ngos so tamil nadu telangana maharashtra and west bengal we also realized in tough times like these mental health should be free and accessible for all that's why parisar asha presents the positive parenting and child digital app for android phones a one of its kind app that makes seeking help for mental health completely free and open to everyone over 4 years we've touched the lives of 4 lakh beneficiaries and we're just getting started because we believe happy families make for a happy nation are you with us call 1800532224 Yes so that was the journey of the positive parenting and child helpline 
which is today going to be you know open in the form of the digital application so a lot of the hard work that has been put that has been put together by the team is going to be showcased soon right so this is the moment which we have all been eagerly waiting for which is going to be the unveiling of the app and with the permission of our chief guest supriya tai we are going to be unveiling the app right now so can we have the av please Yes, so we have officially launched the positive parenting and child digital application, which is now available to be downloaded from the Play Store. So definitely, the mission to extend, you know, mental support and mental health is going to reach out to so many, so many people out there. And once again, thank you to the efforts of the teams who have really worked hard to make this possible. So yes, let us spread the word. Let us share this app. with our friends and families right and that is how we are going to reach a maximum maximum number of people so thank you for all the support capgemini once again so now the journey of the development of the application and for that i'm now going to invite mr ashish minocha who's the senior director bcx digital capgemini india so sir we would like to have a few words from you about the journey of the application over to you sir thanks sapna first of all uh, i would like to thank professor asha team for this invitation and i'm very grateful for this opportunity uh, i've been asked about the journey of development of this fantastic app and and which hopefully will make a difference in human lives so that's fingers crossed i think we can make a difference so let me start uh, from the beginning i think when anurag and team introduced me to the requirement of the parisar asha and the parisar asha team themselves it was a very short and sweet brief uh, parisar asha needs an app and just build it for us so so that that's how it started but then we had our first call with your team uh, i think uh, somebody from your team called shri datta was there and and the other folks and and what struck us uh, in the first call was was the amount of passion uh you know which which the team brings in the motivation which they have uh, which they bring in to really deliver something for the community very very different you know uh, uh from the way uh we traditionally deal with the it clients which come to us with the requirements etc but it was more overwhelming for us to to look at the amount of passion and 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 the motivation the team had uh to really make a difference in in lives of of a people secondly on a personal note uh, i'm a father of a teenager and a preteen and i i was very very quickly able to you know connect emotionally with the need of this app and more so as arti was talking about uh, in the pandemic era we are all stuck in our homes and especially the children who can't go out uh, there are very different types of stresses at work today uh, in in action uh, and i don't want to elaborate further on that though but the point being it, it's very important in today's time to have somebody to speak to uh, somebody who's professional who can understand the issues which is faced by this millennial generation and as as arti was mentioning you know the the stresses and the anxieties of this generation is very different from where we came from for us if i father used to say just get up and do the work we will do and depression was a was a word which we really heard about but now today today it's 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 very different right so so that's and and that's i think where we started so uh, me myself and the team uh, who who were on the call were very quickly emotionally attached to to the uh real meaning of what we intend to deliver so after a couple of meetings i think uh we we reached a point where uh, where we were able to to create something called as a mission statement uh uh ruta are you sharing the screen somewhere uh yes i will be sharing your presentation subha yeah 
Okay, so uh, after a couple of meetings, uh, uh, where we reached was was a, a, a very simple mission statement. Um, uh, uh, next slide, please, sorry. Uh, so uh, in this statement, what we figured out was what is really the need of this application. Um, so first of all, to, to make sure that uh, we, uh, it's a platform where we share information, platform where we can give career counseling, a, a platform uh, which is open to all walks of life of people coming from you know, any community, any wake of life. Secondly, also, it, it's an application which we need to create for not only students, the youths, but also the parents to use. Uh, more so, it, it, it had to be made in such a way that you know, we can talk about, uh, uh, it, it can work across India uh, and, and at different uh, platforms. So that's, that's the intent which we got from, from the application. And that's what uh, really came out uh, when we talked about the mission statement of this. Uh, more so, that, that that mission statement always acted as a beacon for us wherever we were in the journey to go back and see, oh, are we meeting these requirements or not? Uh, next, what we had to do was uh, there were uh, when we dig in deeper, we we really came to know the the struggles which which the volunteers, which the team which you had, uh, uh, you know, the, the doctors, the four doctors you had at that time, which they had to face. You were working from an EPA BX, uh, EPA BX system, which where from where you used to log the calls and everything, the question answer, everything has to be noted manually. Right, the amount of effort which goes into manually tracking each case, and and the amount of talent time which is spent on that is 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 huge. So the what we thought about is if we can free that time of of the people, the resources which Parishwar Ashra have to really help more more the people than actually spending those uh, that time on on doing the manual work. There there is where we can really generate real value. Uh, second is there were there was a lot of data which was uh, because it was logged manually we were not able to analyze uh, it, it can give us a lot of insights and learnings into patterns uh, you know around uh, what are the type of, uh, uh, you know type of people have what type of stress etc so so that data was getting waste so so that was another underlying thought that we uh, we thought that we should bring it to light and we should make make it logical so that that data can be used. Uh, last but not the least, two more things. Uh, uh, people come to us with their issues. We need to make sure uh, that the confidentiality plays a plays a key role. So they they are not anonymous. Many a times they expose themselves to us. So we need to make sure that the data stays within the right hands. Secondly, uh, because everyone will be using this, uh, I think uh, we had to make sure that you know the application is very easy to use. So finally, uh, we, we came up uh, with a two-level approach. Uh, next slide, Ruta. Uh, 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 two-level approach in which we, not only we were making the application for you, uh, which would be uh, the first touch point for each and every end user, but also give something as a web app to you where you can really manage the backend and the database, which, which, which required to be managed. And that's where our design teams uh, led by Monica, uh, Ishika, et cetera, came into play. And they started creating the, the different uh, you know user journeys. Uh, uh, for example, a parent who wants to uh, uh, you know uh, get an appointment for their kid to talk to a counselor, and how does it go through the full process and then comes to a closure. So I'll not go into the technical details of it. Uh, I think it's the launch date. Uh, so I'll just share uh, a couple of uh, work samples that we created. Uh, next slide, please, Uta. So so we started working on these uh, wireframes. Uh, which were reviewed by your team uh, with, with uh, I think, multiple to and fro's. Uh, we were able to freeze something which, which you said it is perfect. And, and, and that's when we moved ahead um, to really create this application. Uh, uh, Ruta, two slides forward. Uh, so uh, one more. So what I would like to talk about, and this is what Anurag touched upon, it's not something that we are giving to the community. I think there's a lot of value of, of such products uh, such projects which we get back from from me as a team manager as a uh, you know people manager i believe uh, when i talk to the people who have worked on this application such type of provides uh, such type of projects provide purpose to really what they are delivering so they they tend to realize how digital uh, can make a difference in the community can make a difference in somebody's lives so i think that's a learning which which uh, such type of projects give us in turn, we get motivation, employee satisfaction, 
people people tend to get matured up when they are really connected with ground realities and 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 work on projects like this for me personally i think it's a, always a fresh breath of energy whenever i talk talk about projects like parisar asha i feel energized i feel emotional and and i do believe that uh, uh, digital really is is something which can make a difference in in people's lives and and that's that's i think one of the biggest achievements which we can get out of uh, the mutual coalition which we have uh, between capcom and i and and parisar asha last but not the least i would uh, like to call upon a few names uh, over the next slide uh, uh, who actually went um, much beyond their uh, current engagements and projects and and made sure that this application is a success venkatesh ashish vipul varsha they worked on the mobile piece ishika monica on the designing uh, anil aditya anek brijesh and matthew they were they were the really the core team which which worked on the web application um so i would like to thank firstly parisar asha team for the opportunity which they gave us to create this application but secondly to to all the people who worked uh, who were really really energetic and motivated to to really deliver this application in time and uh, i will end my talk with a promise that uh, uh, this, this is just a beginning uh, we will make sure that we we deliver more features we make uh, we will make sure we have designed it in such a way that we will make sure it comes on all the platforms and we can really make a bigger dent into you know the lives of people and make sure uh, you know uh, we 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 deliver some value to the community thanks thanks for this opportunity sapna yeah so thank you mr minocha for you know giving us insight about the development of this app so i won't talk too much but something that i would like to share is that you know you began your uh, talk with something you said an emotional connect so definitely we are fortunate at parisar asha to find a team which you know could actually translate our passion into an our uh, you know mission passion similarly like the thought process is matched and that is why i think this app is definitely you know uh, as you said the process is made simple user friendly and you know is going to you know make a difference to the community so with that thank you so much for that wonderful uh, development journey about the app sir and we are moving on to the next segment now where we would like to invite mr sanjay chalke uh, uh, sapna uh, can can we have uh, supriya tai because i just received a message okay 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 yeah. okay ma'am so yes uh, uh, mr chalke we will get back to you a little later Uh, because ma'am yeah so we That's would like to welcome yeah yeah so we would now like to welcome our chief guest for the day mrs supriya sure who is the honorable mp uh, lok sabha and uh, thai you have you know we really appreciate that you have appreciated parisar asha's work and you know extended your support for the initiative and for the cause so thank you so much for your time ma'am and over to you thank you very much uh, all of you thank you sapna for uh, the warm introduction that you have given to me but parishar asha something that was i think in my destiny because we just met each other through a common friend and uh, we just i think uh, arti and we just hit it off and said my god this is exactly what i was looking for and she just walked into my office like an angel because this is something which uh, yb chavan center was aspiring to do and you all were doing it already so i am really grateful that uh, you are willing to collaborate with us reach more children because i think uh, in the world that we all live in which uh, the digital world which actually i thought was a blessing but today in some ways has really become a huge problem and with what i see uh, happening with kids and all is really worrisome so this uh, digital application i think is eventually going to help many more young parents who are living in nuclear families and given the pandemic and the repercussions it has on all our children it's going to really uh, i mean i personally feel it's going to leave a lot of youngsters very scarred because they are not having a normal childhood like we've all had so I mean, we were really lucky that we did not see a pandemic in our uh, growing ages so i think it's uh, a very very challenging times and i think agencies like parishar asha are really we be under a lot of pressure right now to deliver superior results because i think people have a lot of expectations people are lost 
people don't know who really to turn to every time not necessarily that you get a good counselor it's very hard to get good counselors and uh, google doesn't have answers to everybody so i think uh, this app is really going to be very very important i just have one suggestion that you do make a digital application but let's find a way where we can make it more interactive but i think sometimes even just talking helps every time it may not just be one size fits all because the problems will vary so is there some, some more way and we are happy to partner with you and see how much how many more people we can reach and make lives better i think that's really and the motto of i which one center is last person first so we really want to reach out to that last person and make him or her feel first and make sure we give them the helping hand that they could be looking up as parents so i am a proud parent myself i have had my moments with parenting i mean i just have two kids and sometimes i wonder what how do teachers handle 40 and 50 kids in a class they have different personalities they are made differently they come from different backgrounds so bringing up and i mean my two kids are poles apart born in the same house same parents same dna but they are poles apart So it's really, I mean, it's this is not something which comes, and there is nothing in right parenting. You know, there's nothing right and wrong. You have to do it honestly, and be prepared that one day your kid is going to say to you that you knew better than me. Then why did you? Do that? <laughs> so I still say that to my parents, and my kids say that to me all the time. So I'm like, you know, I'm the mother. Remember that I know better than you, and they said, not sure. You should have told us this. That doesn't make you a better parent. I'm like, shut up. You know. kind of a thing but uh, you know parenting also is changed uh, parents sometimes i find it odd but parents want to be friends of their kids and i am little old fashioned and i tell my yeah, kids i don't want to be your friend i am my own friend you have your own friends i am a parent and that's where i want to be yeah, i am mummy and i am going to be the boss but uh, you know that's on a lighter note but i think with technology with the exposure that we are giving our children we have challenges we have different challenges which i don't think uh, my parents had while i was growing up there was not so much media there was not so much social media there was no television so i think um, as a society we keep evolving so we in parenting have to keep evolving and it's a wonderful journey if you ask me i think there's no other happiness in the world that you can get is that through a child so i think it's really wonderful what you all are all doing i mean i'm proud of women leading from the front always and i think the best thing for a woman any time is when your child calls you mom i think that's really the best thing i'm a sucker when it comes to mom you know so i think it's wonderful what you're doing but let's not make it too stereotype you know i see these young mothers you know from one class to another class it is very over disciplined over regimented i mean there's no free time you know and they want to be jack of all and you know so i am i just feel it's okay yeah if your kid doesn't know one thing doesn't have to know ballet it doesn't have to do this but I mean, it's okay and if they play in the mud and get their uh, clothes spoiled it's the right thing to do so i think there also we need to sort of all loosen up a little bit and not chase from piano class to you know everything can't be so structured in life because eventually when they grow up they have a structured life we take for them so i think let's be a little old fashioned also let the kids be a little let's not overthink about parenting once in a while it's okay if they back answer and it's okay for us to scold it you know we let's not be so european and say oh i scolded my child so i'm abusing and call some police station and police have a lot of work to do so i think let's keep it simple and uh, i'm sure over the camp germany does wonderful work they are somebody who always leads it In the front for all social reasons they've been amazing even in baramati i have only gratitude towards camp germany who have helped us during this most challenging times uh, during covid they've helped us with beds with medication i mean i can't thank camp germany enough really i don't have words to show my gratitude so they've been amazing and i'm sure in this parenting by which avan center with your entire team and with camp germany right behind us we will only deliver superior results so thank you all for all this wonderful contribution that you have done how much ever you do positive parenting and child digital application your kid is still going to tell you that i know better than you or you messed up that's why i'm like that <laughs> so be prepared for that and we'll try our best yeah. 
Uh, Supriya, Tai, you spoke straight from the heart, you know. There were so many things. I, yes, ma'am, you spoke straight from your heart, Supriya, Tai. And so many of us, our parents here, you know, we have a lot of, lot of things to take from that. And really? uh, definitely, ma'am, as you said, Camp Germany has been with us throughout and we are looking forward to their, their support. And ma'am, especially, you know, we are so privileged that you just said that you would be there with us all the time. So looking forward all to a very, very beautiful collaboration with Yashman Klaus Avan, Pratishthan yeah. and with love, you, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I love so the trolls. I'm a sucker for it. I'm always there. <laughs> ma'am, so much. Thank you for that. So Aarti, would you like to add something to that? No, no. It was really wonderful having you over here, Supriya Tai, and we look forward for your continued support. And uh, of course, Cap Gemini is there with us, so we can, you know, we hope to actually bring in change, in positive change in millions of lives with the collaboration. I think collaboration is the only key for success of the. Is Cap Gemini logo always green? Uh, it no, be actually, green, huh? no, no, it's no. The blue logo actually. Blue logo. No. 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 Too, but it's just something green around it. No, that's the positive parenting and child <laughs> logo because we have this helpline. It's a toll. No, no, we, it's written with a big green around it. Ah, yeah, that's oh, the, yeah. the arc the, that you the, see there. So, Sanjay, you'll have to explain that arc there. That's a leaf. The reason I'm asking is because all the women are in green and Ashish is <laughs> that cap of the green. Everybody taking Navratri very seriously today. <laughs> Did you know today was a green color? So, I match the colors somehow. <laughs> I know. It's the wavelength. The, the wavelength Thank is you. all matching. I think Anurag and Sanjay have just missed it a little. <laughs> <laughs> yes, number of ways. Yeah. But okay. I'll match it up with uh, other things. I'll, I'll, and, and I know knowing Sanjay will we'll, we'll match it up with number of other things besides the color one. Yeah, they are green at heart. <laughs> always, always. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Okay. Thank you very much, everybody, for your time. Thank I you. really appreciate it and really let's make a difference. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, so thanks a lot to Supriya Taiji and, you know, the way she mentioned about her support and the support of Cap Gemini. And on that note, we are going to take the event forward and I now invite Mr. Sanjay Chalke, who is the India head for Sujeti Capgemini Group Company. So over to you, sir, for a few words. Yeah, thank you, Sapna. Uh, thank you, Aarti. First of all, uh, you know, thanks to all Parisarasha team. Uh, importantly, I think thank you to all my Capgeminians. I think there's a lot who have, um, you know, attend, are, are attending today's uh, event. Uh, and of course, thank you to Ashish, who have led the team from the front uh, to prepare, uh, you know, this app. But more importantly, of course, thank you to Cap Gemini and Anurag, I think, who gives me or gives us an opportunity, who normally otherwise, being in the corporate world, it becomes difficult sometimes to think outside the work. And I think past six months, I have been working with Anurag on several, several other initiatives. So I think thank you so much, uh, as I said, Cap Gemini and Anurag, who are, you know, we call equal opportunity normally right to you know we talk in the same way of serving the society i would say both of these serving the society as well as giving us an opportunity to do this is is is, is something is which i think we really love i think we always had a passion being a mumbaiite we have seen all of these uh, you know arti my wife works for villa teresa so she talks about parisarasha and actually have been uh, you know, heard some of your sessions. Oh. Uh, so, you know, I think this has been a wonderful, I guess, um, an opportunity to be, uh, you know, part of this initiative, especially, you know, uh, when we talk about mental health, uh, something which has been extremely critical, extremely neglected, and what a time, you know, what a time, which means never has been a kind of a period era uh, where this needs you know, kind of more than anybody else, uh, any time else, you know, uh, 19, 18, 19 months, the kind of both the parents, the kids, the overall, uh, you know, the academic world have gone through. I think, you know, the, it, the, the need for some of these has quadrupled than what we saw, what we had before, right? So there are anxious parents, 
stress parents, but according along with them, there are anxious and stress, uh, you know, stress students too. So I think I'm very happy that today we have this application uh, and a an helpline with the help of the psychologist and the psychiatrist. I believe this can be a game changer. Uh, Supriyatai, I think, said or rather gave, uh, you know, a very good, I would say, uh, you know, suggestion of how to make it more interactive. I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, Ashish and his team are listening and uh, probably add some of our, you know, we have a lot of our, you know, robots, which actually does and be interactive and in Capgemini world, we have created many, I would suggest, or I'm sure we could have a, something like a interactive chat bot, which could, we could have, you know, at least 1000, 2000 questions normally, which could can be answered in a way at the first you know query itself and then they can they can definitely go and, and use the helpline to do a real life conversation so i'm sure you know i'll not speak more you know a lot has been said i think supriyatai also spoke, spoke a lot about the intangibles of parenting also so i think that was a good way of uh you know talking about and dealing with some of the mental health issues up front uh, about your kids so once again i think uh, congratulations to the Parisarasha team and of course uh, Cap Gemini will remain and uh, you know with Anurag there to lead us from the front and be all behind him to do whatever is needed uh, whether it's technology whether it's um, you know manpower or whether it is uh, you know the financial power you know I think with the leadership of Ashwin Yardi I think we'll continue to raise the flag as much as possible. So again, thank you so much, uh, both Parisarasha and Cap Gemini for inviting me. Uh, all the best wishes, uh, not only for this initiative, but the several initiatives, uh, what you folks run. So thank you again. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sanjay, sir. You know, what you just mentioned, that means a lot to us. Continued support, which we are looking forward from Cap Gemini. So thank you once again from the bottom of our heart. And we all have been talking about the helpline and the launch of the app today. So we have put together a few life stories, you know, we couldn't put together all, but at least a few life stories wherein, you know, our counselors have touched so many lives. So we have put that together in a film and we would just see the film and then, you know, the film says most of the things that we would like to express. So can we have the film, please? Hello, my name is Bhavya Sharma and uh, I came to Paris Rasha two years ago. I had um, issues with parents and I had a pressure because of my studies and I was guided by Ketki. When I came there, I had no intention of improving. I, had, I came in with a very stubborn mind, but Ketki helped me understand a lot of things, helped me, uh, helped me look at things differently and understand the situation. She helped me with a lot of general life uh, problems too, which I had uh, at that time. She helped me study systematically so that I'm less nervous and more confident in myself. And that's how Parisa Rasha helped me and I'm really grateful for that. Hi all, I'm Ravneet Sharma, Bhavya's mom and uh, I would like to tell you all that uh, I have had a great experience with Parisa Rasha, Cap Germany and uh, to be very precise they are counsellor Ketki Gokhale. So I came across them a uh, few years ago uh, when my daughter was in grade 8 and there was a program in the school. Uh, for counselling of parents and kids and uh, I should say that program itself helped me a lot to get close to my daughter to make bonding and then uh, of course I had their contact number and in grade 9 when I was facing some issues uh, regards to parenting my teenage daughter Bhavya I uh, 
अप्रोच दैम एंड केतकी वॉज अ ग्रेट हेल्प आई वेंट टू परिसर आशाज ऑफिस एंड शी गेव अस इनफ टाइम द लॉड ऑफ पैशन एंड लव शी हेल्प मी एंड माई डॉटर बोथ टू चेंज आर अप्रोच टूवर्ड्स थिंग्स एंड शी ऑल्सो काउंसिल माई सन एंड टू चेंज हिज अप्रोच टूवर्ड्स हिज बिहेवियर टूवर्ड्स माई डॉटर एंड आई शूड टेल यू इन दिस टू एंड हाफ ईयर्स she kept constant follow up with us on whatsapp on calls and in the lockdown she attended uh, bhavya also on the zoom and uh, she made sure that the change what she was trying to bring about uh, should you know retain and uh, be permanent and uh, she was uh, very helpful and uh, even though there was lockdown she was unstoppable and she was counseling us and uh, i would highly recommend people to take help from parisa rasha cap gemini because this is absolutely free and uh, there is no time bond they give you enough time with love and compassion they help you uh, you know to do a good parenting to be a better parent and sometimes we feel that the fault is only with our child and we don't realize that where are we going wrong in our parenting and that's what i uh, got as a input from ketki that how do i need to change myself and i should say uh, that today uh, we are really very happy and satisfied and the uh, environment at house has completely changed and i'm very much bonded with my daughter now and a big thanks to them thank you so much parisa rasha हेलो ऑल आई एम अभिलाषा पवार मदर ऑफ अ सोहम अमोल पवार सिंस बर्थ सोहम हैज़ बीन अ डिफरेंट लेबल चाइल्ड ही वॉज मोर अटैच टू हिज फादर अमोल अमोल यूज टू बी विथ हिम एट एवरी स्मॉल स्टेप सोहम फेल्ट सेफ एंड कम्फर्टेबल अराउंड हिम इन शॉर्ट आई कैन से सोहम्स वर्ल्ड यूज टू रिवॉल्व अराउंड हिज फादर अमोल आफ्टर सींग हिज डैड इन द बेड एंड फाइटिंग फॉर कैंसर फॉर वन लॉन्ग इयर इट वॉज डिफिकल्ट फॉर हिम टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज हैपनिंग and it was very difficult for me to make soham understand that now the time has come your dad will go away forever one day that thing happened on 7th of april 2019 his father amol expired soham's world turned upside upside down being differently able he could not express his feelings and he could not cope up with the situation the space in his life that space at home made it more difficult for me to handle soham he was feeling lonely insecure he started behaving more violently seeing all this situation one of my friends suggested to have a word with miss aarti who is a ceo of parisar asha i felt so friendly and comfortable in the first call itself that i trusted her she introduced parisar asha to me and asked me to visit dr jayesh ghodke from parisar asha after talking to miss aarti i got a hope to live a better life with my son soham Dr Jayesh who counseled Soham in such a way that Soham tried being back to his usual behavior he made him understand certain things and made him accept situations that were happening in his life today whatever i and soham it is all because of parisar asha i want to thank each member of the parisar asha for being excellent in their own way and special thanks to miss aarti and dr jayesh for understanding and guiding us through this peaceful path May God bless them all. Thank you. Uh, मेरा नाम आशा शुक्ला है और uh, मेरी बेबी डिवाइन चाइल्ड हाई स्कूल से बिलोंग करती है और आज जो आपने सेशन ऑर्गेनाइज किया था वो इतना बेहतरीन था बिकॉज एट दिस टाइम आई एम सफरिंग फ्राम फैमिली प्रॉब्लम्स तो मुझे पूरा भरोसा है कि आज मैं आपके थ्रू से मेरे लाइफ के प्रॉब्लम्स को सॉल्व कर सकूँगी बिकॉज अभी तक तो हम मेरी लाइफ में कोई ऐसा मेजर प्रॉब्लम नहीं था बट एट नाउ एट दिस स्टेज मेरे कॉपरेशन uh, की बहुत कमी हो रही है मेरे स्पाउस और मेरे बीच में जो म्यूचुअल अंडरस्टैंडिंग होती है कॉपरेशन को लेके कि बच्चों को कैसे अपग्रेड करना है तो वो बहुत मिसअंडरस्टैंड uh, कर रहे हैं इस वजह से कि उनको ऐसा लग रहा है कि बच्चे उतने एबल नहीं हैं उतना स्कोर कर नहीं पा रहे हैं और मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि नहीं 
वो थोड़े समय के बाद करते करते वो ज़्यादा प्रोग्रेस करेंगे और सब कुछ मैनेज हो जाएगा तो ये मिसअंडरस्टैंडिंग के वजह से जो घर में प्रॉब्लम जो इन्वॉर्मेंट का क्रिएट हो रहा है मुझे डेफिनेटली पूरा भरोसा है कि आज ये मैम के थ्रू से मैं कुछ सॉल्यूशन लेके जाऊंगी घर पे और मेरे जो प्रॉब्लम्स हैं वो सॉल्व हो जाएंगे तो मैं आपको मैं सबको रिक्वेस्ट करूंगी कि आप उनकी जो फ्री हेल्प है वो उसको ज़रूर लीजिए और आपके जो भी प्रॉब्लम्स हैं उनको सॉल्व करिए क्योंकि लाइफ में आ, वाकई में देखा जाए तो पेरेंटिंग के ऊपर कोई सेशन नहीं है या कोई ट, आ, पर्टिकुलर कैरिकुलम नहीं है कि उसको फॉलोअप करके हम कुछ सीख सके लेकिन आज जो सेशन था जो आपने ऑर्गेनाइज किया आज अपने अभूमि मैडम ये भरपूर चांगली महती संगित मुला अपन कस सामावन दयाच मुला कस प्रकार हैंडल कराएं शिकवाय हाबल संगित अपनी मुल कित्येक वेला अपनेपसन भरपूर गोष्टी लपन ठेवत ते कभी अपने संगत नहीं कि बाई ने माला आज हेच दिल कि एखाद ने मैं मारल शेजा ने मैं आज इधे हाथ लवला तिथे हाथ लाला मेजे वाइट गोषी आ चल गोषी हाँ अपने कड़े शेयर कराएँ पं कित्येक वेला अपन क्या मुला धुत्कार संगत कि चल आता मेरा वेल नहीं मे मैं बोला वेल नहीं मैं आता वेल नहीं सामून अपन लंब करो परंतु तो जो अपन जवर घर संगित विचार तो कित्येक वेला जे घड़े वाइट प्रसंग आता अपने अपने से शेयर करता हाबदल अपन ती प्रेमा बोलो तो बद्द घड़े गोष वाइट गोषी है तो अपने शेयर करता अपने कहत कि आज अपने मुलाबद्ध का वाइट जाए मग मुल अपने जवर तेने बोलत आता अपने अभूमि मैडम ने यदल चांगल चांगली आखिर महति दिल्ली प्रत्येक गोष कृति ने समझा संगित तो अपन धन्यवाद मानूया आभार मानूया धन्यवाद मैडम थैंक यू हाय मैं सर लता शर्मा मैं कुछ दिन से बहुत परेशान थी अपने आप को एक टेंशन बहुत रहती थी स्ट्रेस फ्री नहीं रहती थी नींद नहीं आ रहा था मुझे बहुत टाइम से उस कारण मैंने अपने आप को खुद ही बीमार कर लिया मुझे कैलेस्ट्रॉल और बीपी का प्रॉब्लम आ गया सिर्फ एक स्ट्रेस लेने की वजह से थी कि कैसे होगा बिजनेस नहीं चलता या मनी का प्रॉब्लम इशूज़ आ गया था या फैमिली में कोई डिस्टर्बेंस आ रही थी उस कारण मैं बहुत 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 ज़्यादा स्ट्रेस में आके अपने आप को बीमार कर बैठी पर कल से जब से मैं मॉर्निंग एक सेशन हमारा और फेम ऑफिस में हुआ था उसके बाद प्लस जो शाम को जो सिक्स ओ क्लॉक बजे सिक्स ओ क्लॉक केतकी और माधुरी ने जो सेशन लिया उसके बाद मैं इतना पॉजिटिव फील कर रही हूँ अपने आप में कि मुझे अपना रास्ता दिख गया कि मुझे किस तरीके से अपने आप को ठीक रखना है क्या स्ट्रेस को मैं पॉजिटिवली कैसे दे सकती हूँ क्या करके मैं खुश हो सकती हूँ अपने आप को डाइव we can proceed yeah so that as we were saying for some of the life stories that we put together show the sincere and honest effort that our counselors are putting to change the lives of many 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 people out there so what we felt is you know what started as a parent and child helpline or uh, should not be restricted just to a parent and a child because after all a family is not only about a parent and child but about the youth in the family the grandparents the uncles the aunts so basically everyone needed you know needs that help right so that justifies the app that you know we are coming up with today because this is going to help us reach a lot many people and as you saw in the testimonials there were parents there were homemakers a specially able child who was actually resurrected back after the counseling of dr jayesh you know is able to lead a normal life 
so testimonials and stories like this you know they really really uh, you know justify the need for a app you know which can reach out to a lot many people and here again we would like to thank capgemini for the support and you know we are definitely looking as this as arti ma'am was saying that this is the first version we will be coming up with a more detailed version maybe later on and we would look, look towards you know and look towards and work towards it on that note as the app is already launched i would now like to invite our marketing and execution partners which is betweenism for the journey ahead so over to you hello uh, quite an insightful evening that was uh, i hope you guys are able to hear me clearly though yes we are and hi my name is hari and uh, shrinik is also on call and we founders of this company known as betweenism and uh, we we worked with a lot of brands in the past you know like the tatas and uh, reliances of the world and we've done a lot of social campaigns some of which have won international awards some which continue to save human lives even today and some which have like completely changed human behaviors but that's not what we're going to be talking about today uh, what we're going to be talking about today is our approach towards ppcp and why it is really important to uh, you know reach out to the masses i think supriya ma'am arti and a lot of other dignitaries have already spoken about it but like uh, you know being being a uh, Uh, I, I wouldn't call myself a patient, but I've been to therapists myself. So you know, it's it's a very closely associated cause that uh, it's being spoken about right now. And I will not take too much time. I'm just going to share my screen. Uh, so we'll quickly take you through some of the stuff that we have been planning. Uh, give me a second. Great. I hope everyone can see my screen. Yes, we can. Super. All right, so uh, this is what is happening right now, right? We are seeing everybody in masks, right? Masks in restaurants, masks in schools, masks in colleges, and whatnot, right? Like we are just so used to seeing this for the last one and a half years, right? But what is slowly happening is, uh, you know, for the last few weeks or the last few months, example, in the US, in the UK, and a lot of developed countries, as the cases are going down. people are wanting to take off their masks right like i mean everybody wants to remove their masks even today if you go in india as well like a lot of people which they shouldn't but they are taking off their masks right but is this the only mask we wear right obviously we see a lot of people wearing the surgical blue masks and we are some of us are very very strict about it but is this the only mask we wear right and unfortunately that's not the case right the the, the images that you see on the screen are basically showcasing a silent epidemic all right my mom is diabetic and when i took her to the uh, doctor i i saw this one uh, image on somewhere in the corner which said that diabetes is a silent killer you know but i really believe that mental issues are some of i mean something that is even more impactful because it's, we just don't know anything about it right like i mean all of us are really privileged that we can speak about mental health openly but a lot of people in india cannot still speak right so i mean you can see the spikes as to how over the last few years uh, search terms regarding depression anxiety panic attacks fatigues have all gone up right the biggest spike you see is during the april to june 2020 period which is when covid started right all of us were just forced to sit at home all of us were just to uh, forced to work from home suddenly children were uh, like i mean just like they didn't know what to do because they haven't been uh, at home for so long right this is this led to a complete chaos and i think that's already been covered before and uh, i mean just every single day in the newspaper every single day in every literal media outlet right you hear something or read something about a mental health problem right i've just like put down two screenshots from like literally day before yesterday right like 14% of adolescents in india are suffering from anxiety and depression that's a very big number right even i think the government is taking some active steps right so when we were collaborating with parisar asha and we were thinking of what to do what not to do and you know we we literally thought that it's going to be a problem of access right because when i went to a therapist a couple of years back she charged me 1500 rupees for one hour right like 1500 that's a huge amount for a lot of people yes i can afford to pay but not a lot of people can afford to pay so what we were thinking to find out was that is going to be a problem of access ki ha mujhe mere paas paise nahi hai mere paas access nahi hai 
But then when we spoke to a lot of people, we spoke to certain NGOs, including Parisarasha. We spoke to people who have worked with like patients in the past. We spoke to some of our own friends who have been suffering from mental issues. But we realized that the reality is, in fact, even darker, right? Like the reality is that we don't even know what are the symptoms of mental issues. So where we were thinking that we will find that we have money for the doctor, ke paas ke liye, we will find that, okay, fine, I don't have access to doctors. The reality is that we don't even know that, you know, okay, fine, this person is suffering from mental health issue. Like, just look at these four images on the screen, right? Hey, I'm not hungry. I don't want to play. I just want to be alone, man. It's just work stress. Leave me alone, right? These are some common statements that we hear all throughout, right? But how many of us have actually taken the initiative to speak to our friend, our sister, our brother, mom, dad, anyone, right? Maybe they're suffering from something. We have made a pot of water because we, we just don't know about these issues, right? We just ignore it. We just disregard it. Huh, she's on a diet. You know, today it's the end thing. He's just an introvert. He doesn't speak about it. He's just a workaholic but this is not the real case right like i mean if all of us can actually take the initiative to at least speak to the person right maybe he's a workaholic but maybe he is actually suffering from something maybe she's on a diet but maybe she is actually also going through something so that is what we really need to do and that is our objective of this campaign as well we literally want to cut off the blindfold that all of us have been wearing for so many years we literally want to burn the blindfold right that is our entire objective of this campaign right so even when you speak about the primary objective there are two groups that we're trying to target one is obviously people who are aware of mental health symptoms right like not eating for a long time not wanting to play for a long time not wanting to go to school not wanting to meet so there are some people who are aware of symptoms and thanks to initiatives like tpcp cap gemini parisarasha a lot of this is being spoken about but there's a huge chunk of audience which is completely unaware right when we were speaking to certain people we were literally shocked that you know some of these instances they did not know and we specific specifically spoke to them ki agar aapka bachcha khana nahi khaye ga itne din ke liye so what will you do i mean none of those actually said that you know okay fine he must be suffering from a mental health issue so there are people who are completely unaware of it and our objective is to get those unaware people into the aware section and then ultimately lead them to the ppcp app which is completely free of cost right so then tomorrow people like me or say somebody who is like not as privileged as me they don't need to think ki ha mujhe 1000 rupees ek ghante ke dene padenge 1500 rupees dene padenge this is a complete Completely free service, which is not only going to benefit the underprivileged people, but also going to be benefit the society at large. And as we have spoken about, like uh, the campaigns we've done in the past, right? Like, I mean, what we used to do previously was we used to launch the campaign, release a press release, and then just organically wait for a lot of traction. But in 2021, since the uh, uh, since our attention spans have come down so much, right? We literally can't concentrate on something for more than two seconds. We literally see like 10,000 pieces on Instagram. We're not just going to stop at a press release, right? Obviously, there's going to be a campaign launch a couple of weeks down the line where we launch it with a high octane video, uh, which which can go viral, which cannot go viral. I mean, that's something we'll see. And we'll also create a lot of content with teachers, parents, experts, interviews and testimonials where people can actually see, as, to, as we were just saying in the testimonial, that what is, I mean, how they used to think before and how they now think. The same people we interviewed during our research, we will actually call them also to the office or somewhere else, and we will create content with them. And along with that, we we'll also do a lot of social social media promotions and media engagements because uh, you know reaching out to the young people today reaching out to the siblings of those young people today uh, is very very important right we need to absolutely unstigmatize the fact that he or she may be suffering from certain mental health issue and uh, yes I, I wouldn't go into a lot of detail into each of these sections because you know that that will take away the surprise element uh, but, but like I uh, so I'll end my presentation but like a huge thank you to Parisarasha and Capgemini for realizing that this is such an important issue to be uh, spoken about and I think like with, with Supriya ma'am also coming in place I think all of us are really gung-ho about it and I think what we have initially what we had initially thought two weeks back I think is going to be much much greater than that so thank you so much Yeah, so thank you, Hariharan, for that wonderful presentation. So now that the uh, app is in place, you have given us a roadmap of, as to how it is going to work. And uh, one most important thing that you said is sometimes people don't even know that they need help, right? So this confidentiality, uh, confidentiality of this app is definitely, you know, going to help that way also, right? Am I right? Okay, so super. So on that note, I think we are at the last segment of the event and I would now like to call upon Anurag sir, Mr. Anurag Pratap, the Vice President, CSR Capgemini. A few words from you, dear, uh, from you, you sir. The, 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 uh, you killed it by saying, sir. Uh, 
You should have just skipped it, uh, Anurag. That's that's the the best there. Uh, it, it, I'm, I'm really happy uh, seeing where we are. And when Arti was talking about four years, and I suddenly realized that hey, this took this is now four year old partnership. I was thinking as if we started just yesterday. I still remember the the uh, uh, the conference room where we had the discussion about. Uh, uh, when she came with uh, education project and I was prodding her to get into the counseling space because that's one space that uh, we really wanted at government school. She, and, and, and she was also finding it uh, uh, something that she wanted to do because that was also the time when she was getting into this productive space in a very, very, uh, I'll say, structured manner. And I'm glad that it happened. Uh, one year we did that, uh, uh, the, the physical uh, uh, toll-free number that we started we learned so many things from getting the quote of various uh, uh, operators to ensuring that we have people there and then managing also managing what is called what happens when the uh, we started with eight to eight uh, calls and then we were like what happens from eight in the night to eight in the morning if there are people who really require our support then how we'll reach out to them and that's where we brought in the whole uh, infrastructure of uh, recording the calls and the next morning giving them the the first priority, reaching out to them and reach, uh, understanding uh, the kind of support that they're looking for. I'm, <clears throat> I'm really glad uh, on, on the second phase of the work that has happened there. Sanjay, this app has chatbot there. So we, we created a chatbot there. We brought in the whole element of what is called uh, getting those questions, those frequently asked questions there and answering those uh, things. The whole aim and intent was that can we get into a multilingual space there? Because uh, right now we were catering to, I'll say, Marathi, Hindi, and Gujarati. Marathi, Hindi, English, and Gujarati. Uh, uh, these are four languages that we were catering to. We had our uh, uh, psychologists and psychiatrists who were operating with these four languages. And we said that if we really want to cover Pan-India, uh, then language should not be the uh, constraining factor. And that's where... Digital becomes very important there, where you create a tool where uh, language won't be the one which will limit your reach uh, there. And, uh, and and very, I'll say, very pertinent points raised by uh, Supriya Ji, Ashish, and and also by Sanjay on how we can make uh, make sure that this reaches out to uh, far and wide. This reaches out to people who are really in need of. Uh, I I I'll, I'll take this opportunity. To Thank a number of people. I'll, 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 I'll say a big thank you to uh, RP and uh, Parisharasa uh, board members because uh, they, they they rallied around to create a solution which was uh, really needed. Uh, uh, I, we have heard a uh, number of uh, people talking about it. The Parisharasa team, uh, they, they slogged like anything and we made them slog like anything. And it was, sometime it was like a, uh, 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 both of us, uh, when I say both of us, I mean Cap Gemini and uh, Parisarasa, they were sitting in long uh, hours uh, trying to find answers to some of the questions where we were not very sure how to find those answers. And uh, I'm grateful to uh, those those long hours that we spent there uh, together collectively to find some of the answers there. Uh, uh, thank you, Sri Lata. Thank you. Uh, 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 so many, uh, I'll say, team members who are who are there. Uh, Ketki, uh, it was already noted out there. Uh, uh, they 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 talked about uh, uh, counselors there. We organized number of uh, positive parenting workshops there in our campuses also. Sanjay and Achis. we did it for our facility staff uh, there so that they can they can be aware of what what we are doing there. So thank you for doing uh, uh, the work uh, that. Uh, all of you have done, uh, Parishara, a big salute to all of you for the hard work that you have brought in there. It's 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 uh, Parishara helpline is uh, is is I'll say it, it's it's all about the sweat and blood and and the hard work that all of you have put in there. I need to also thank CIS team, the cloud infra uh, team, um, who anchored some of the uh, some of the element of this particular application. RC is as uh, DCX team. They, they and, and uh, CIS team, both of them combine their energies to come out with the product. I'm sure there will be a second phase of this. I'm sure there will be uh, some issues which will come in there. I'm sure there will be some more uh, functionality that we'll wish to add. And, 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 and I'm sure that we'll again, we'll reach out to Archies and reach out to CIS to get their support to do that. 
huge, huge gratitude to uh, you, Ashish, and your team. Please convey uh, uh, from our side. When I say our side, I always mean Cap Gemini and Parisarasha because I've never looked at both the entities in a separate way. That's how the partnership has been in the last uh, four or five years. Uh, we have learned a lot from uh, Parisarasha. We, uh, some of our strategic uh, uh, direction, Sanjay, uh, got influenced by our partners in a number of ways. And I feel very proud all the time whenever uh, whenever I get this opportunity to say that out of 100 things that we do today in CSR, 65 of, of those things are influenced by our partners because they, they really taught us and, and we were flexible. We, we said that we are not coming uh, in the field with all the wisdom we were willing to learn from uh, the partners there. And that's where partnership got enriched there. That's where... Uh, uh, when when uh, Arti or her team reaches out to us, uh, they, they they don't reach out to us as a as a funder as a donor, but they reach out to us as a partner with with a uh, equal uh, uh, voice on uh, some of the things. But I, I thank all of you. I thank my team, Ruta, Rimi, Dhanashree for anchoring this project. Project beautifully done. Uh, but this is just the half half the the work that we have done. The next half is rolling it out, making sure that we cover more and more people. We reach out and ensure that the support that they require is given to them and given to them in a manner where they, they and we, we feel very proud of. So uh, with this note, I'll say God bless all of you for doing what you are doing. This is, this is the moment to be thankful. Uh, this is the moment to feel blessed about uh, uh, things that we got. And this is also the time to give it back to the community so that uh, everyone can get the future that they want. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anurag, sir. And you have beautifully summed up the entire, you know, essence of the program today. That it's a wonderful occasion that, you know, we have come out with this application, which is definitely going to give back to society. You also spoke about collaboration, which is the key to success. The partnership that Parisarasha and Capgemini has the thought process is that match and that is why the good work that we are both you know working at together so thank you so much for that and now i would like to invite once again miss arti savur the ceo of parisarasha for the vote of thanks yeah over to you arti yeah thank you so much uh, sapna it was wonderfully moderated first of all thank you thanks to you and uh, i won't take much of a time but then still i have you know like so many people to thank for because uh, 6.30, we will be starting our uh, uh, another conference that is uh, Emotional Wellbeing Conference and uh, open invite to everyone. Everybody has already received their links. So I'm looking forward to see all of you in the next uh, hall of your, uh, you know, our uh, Emotional Wellbeing Conclave. So first of all, thank you very much, Anura, because uh, it was the first point of contact uh, in Capgemini and I still remember the meeting in the conference room. And I'm really happy that I could convince you. <laughs> and you were convinced about this. Uh, in fact, I was trying to convince for the, uh, the school thing, what we are doing, but then I think you had that foresight and uh, the need, you actually, you know, like pointed out that need. And this is, now here we are, you know, like after four years of our, uh, like going together, our collaboration. So thank you so much, Anurag, from the bottom of my heart. And, you know, it's not just about partnership or it's not just about, I feel it's my extended family in all of you, you know, all the Capgemini, uh, like uh, community and the family, it's like our part of our extended family. So thank you. And I would like to also say thank you to Supriya Dei, though she has left, but uh, thanks for her also, you know, in spite of her busy schedule, she is over here. So thank you, Sanjay Chalke, sir, and Ashish Minocha. And uh, I would like to thank Capgemini's DCX team who could make it possible this entire application. And now I going to read out their names in alphabetical orders. So Anik Mandal, Aditya Kumar, Ashish Zope, Bridges, Shah, Kedar, Saman, Matthew, Jacob, Monika, Deshpande, Murli, Lakshmi, Narayan, Sudhir, Raukade, Sujata, Naik, Venkatesh, Selvam, Vijay, Meh Vijay Mehta, Vijay Lakshmi, K. Then Capgemini CSR team, who's our extended family, Dhanashri, uh, Rimi, Ruta, and of course, Anurag, a strong pillar of the uh, CSR team. And uh, of course, big thank you to Ashwini Adi, sir, also, because 
he really believes you know in the the kind of initiatives cap gemini takes up for the benefit of the society so hats off to all of you please keep up your great work and you are getting lot of blessings i'm sure so um, of course now it's time for our team members parisar asha team members uh, so shri sapna sukada anjali and entire team who has been working for this i would also like to mention over here our counselor team our psychologist uh, from day one so bhumi dr ambresh rutika dr dharav ketki madhuri dr jayesh and akshita because of you this is you know like four years and touching four uh, lakh families uh, it was possible and uh, also i would like to thank mr mahesh tawan also because of him i could uh, you know invite supriya tai to come and you know uh, grace the occasion and yeah we are really really happy uh, and let's conclude this uh, entire thing and it's just a new journey together with this digital app we will keep on working on it and keep on touching lives of uh, millions of more people so happy families for happy nation and see you now in the next session that is our emotional wellbeing conclave so thank you so much the only one request that i'll make is start using 400000 rather than 4 lakh so that i can use your video for european market also okay sure yeah. <laughs> thank you thank you all thank you chief thank, thank you everyone thank you